Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. Today we're going to be revisiting a console we worked on in the past. I did a series of consoles that were a little bit more pop culture as opposed to being on brand with the consoles themselves, Nintendo, Xbox, so on and so forth. Um, and I decided to do a couple of Spider-Gwen in 64s and a Naruto in 64s. They're all really awesome consoles. I think they're beautiful. People think they're beautiful, but uh, they're just not checking everyone's box in the shop. So they just sit there in the shop and they'll sell. So I decided to pull one of them off the shelf and give it a redressing. So this is a process video of how I redressed this Spider-Gwen N64. Let's check it out. Okay, to start we need to take the console apart and make sure to get all the pieces out including the dust cover for the cartridge slot, the buttons, the expansion bay cover. I've chosen this wonderful graphic to apply to the surface. Uh, before that we're going to need to rough it up a bit so that way the paint has something to stick to. Make sure that surface is nice and clean. Alright, this looks like a pretty good position right there. So we'll tape it down. That way we can trace on the image with a sharpie. I'm not too worried about the sharpie blurring out. We're going to cover all that up with paint. I'm just going to kick on the high speed, maybe throw some tunes on, and you guys can bust through this part till we get to the end. For those of you who don't know, the design of this overall console is actually based off of Spider-Gwen's costume. Take a good look and you can see how the costume influenced the design and the flow. I wonder out of all my viewers, who is really in love with the Spider-Gwen idea? I know that I am. I think it's an amazing idea, an amazing costume, and I love how they brought Gwen Stacy basically back from the dead. Obviously, this version never died. She's from a different reality and universe, but so cool, so cool. And then, and what they did with her afterwards with the Gwen pool and all that good stuff, it's super fun, super wild. Obviously, they're jumping on the bandwagon with good marketability. Wait, is that what I'm doing? I gotta be honest, I feel really bad. I haven't even seen the sequel Spider-Verse movie yet, but I hear it is amazing. I know the first one was one of the best superhero movies ever made. Um, do you guys like hats? I'm a hat guy, this is my hat. Yeah, I'm a hat guy. Are you a hat guy? Are you guys, you guys wear a lot of hats? It's not like I'm concerned about my hair or my hairline or anything. It's just something I've always done. Growing up, it was baseball caps for a long time. And then into my teens, I started wearing, hey, do you, do you guys like hats? Hats. I like hats. I've been an artist all my life and people are always asking me, what, what drives you? What, what gets you out of bed? What makes you do the things that you do? And I thought about it long and hard, and I gotta tell you, oh, uh, we're done, so we're gonna move on to the next part. And now that the art design is done, we need to go through the long and arduous process of clear coating, and sanding, and washing, and clear coating, and sanding, and washing, and clear coating, sanding and washing. I think we're ready for the glamour shots. Check out this beauty.
All right, that was our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see the first half of this video where we did the whole show itself, I'll leave a link in the description. Please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.